Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Get It Clear with Govind. In this video, we are going to talk about the daily current affairs of the date 31-12-2020, the last day of the year 2020. So this video will be in English and I am going to bring to you the top 10 current affairs of the date 31-12-2020. So if you find this video at least useful, please hit a like button, please share the video as much as possible and uh, please subscribe my channel. So first one. Harshwardhan inaugurates India's highest metrological center at Leh. Friends, Leh, Leh is a city in Ladakh Union Territory. Ladakh Union Territory is a recently uh, recently carved Union Territory. It is made out uh, made out of Jammu and Kashmir state, and that is made on 31st October of 2019 by scrapping of Article 370. And yeah, the Lieutenant Governor is R K Mathur for Ladakh. So. This Leh is a capital of this union territory Ladakh. I mean, at that place, Harshwadhan has inaugurated the highest meteorological center. Meteorological center is something which gives the weather updates of that uh, particular place. And this is going to be the second uh, meteorological center at such uh, heights. The first one is at Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh. And but this is the highest. So this is going to give short range, three days uh, meteorological uh, weather conditions. 12 days and also for one month long range so the districts of Leh and Kargil uh, both are going to benefit from this and Union Minister of Earth Sciences is Harshwadhan Dr. Harshwadhan he is the one Minister for Health he is a Minister for Science and he is the Minister for Earth Sciences Dr. Harshwadhan he has uh, uh, inaugurated this meteorological center and next again we have Harshwadhan he has been nominated as the board of Gavi the vaccine aliens. Gavi is nothing but the global alliance for vaccines. Global alliance for vaccines. Who? Dr. Harshwadhan, who is our Minister of Health Sciences, Minister of Health, Minister of Science and Technology. See, Dr. Harshwadhan, he has been uh, one, uh, nominated as a, one of the board member of Global Health Alliance. And this Health Alliance, what it do is, it is going to uh, improve uh, and access, it is going to produce Vaccines, vaccines for numerous preventable diseases for children who live in the world's most poorest countries. This is what this Gavi do and uh, the Gavi headquarters are in Switzerland and it is formed in January 20, 2000. And yeah. And next we have cabinet uh, has approved export of indigenously developed Akash missile. Akash missile and yeah, this is one of the surface to air missile which has a range of 25 kilometers. So, you are here and some UAV is coming, uh, some, suppose a drone. You can just uh, shoot this from 25 kilometers. That is what this Akash missile end does. And you know the deploy or the exporting quality is different from the what is within the Indian Air Force. That is you, ne you need to note. And yeah, cabinet has approved for its export and here we need to learn about the important people or personnel in the army or uh, the defense services. First one is CDS, chief of CDS, chief of defense staff. He is Bipin Rawat. Bipin Rawat is the chief of defense staff and next we have chief of army, uh, chief of army staff, COAS. Uh, he is Manoj Mukund Narwane. He is from Maharashtra. Manoj Mukund Narwane. And we have air staff. Air staff is RKS Rakesh Singh Bhaduria. And next air. He belongs to air. And if you speak about Navy, we have Karambir Singh. Karambir Singh. So CDS chief, he is the chief, he is the four star general. He is Bipin Rawat and chief of air staff is Mano, chief of army staff is Manoj Mukund Narvane. Chief of air is RKS Rakesh Singh Bahudaria. And next for Navy we have Karambir Singh. So the cabinet has approved for the export of indigenous limits which is developed within. This will develop the trade, uh, this will uh, uh, give some profits to the uh, country and it will also help in uh, bilateral relations. 
by exporting this uh, Akash missile system and that what is being exported is different uh, from the what is deployed at Indian Armored Forces. Next talking about in Indian Railways, new Vista Dome coaches successfully completes 180 km per hour speed trail. You know what about the Vista Dome coaches are they are a European kind of thing where you have you will you can see through the glasses from this angle also here you will have panoramic windows and you will be seated here and you can also watch through this part so this is going to give a view uh, a great view of the scenery beauties so uh, this this offers a scenic beauties this offers a view of sceneries uh, in a more proper way than the small windows which we normally have in the present year. and this also completed the test trail of 180 km per hour speed trail and if you talk about Indian Railways the uh, present Minister of Indian Railways Piyush Goyalji Piyush Goyal is our uh, Minister of Indian Railways and the uh, first Indian Railway is from uh, first Indian Railway line it started on 16th April 1853 from Mumbai to Thane Mumbai to Thane headquarters of uh, Indian Railways is New Delhi so yeah and these these uh, Vistaram coaches are prepared at integral coach factory in Chennai and these are the routes these are the routes here we can see all the routes Next, VK Adha, who is the CEO and, uh, and chairman of the railway board, he has been conferred with the eminent engineer award from IEEE, IEEE chapter, IEEE chapter. Uh, the chapter, Indian chapter is Institution of Engineering and Technology, IET. This has conferred award to this person, VK Adha, who is the chairman of railway board. And you also need to, and this award uh, is given on the day of 15th September, which is the engineer's day. To commemorate the former, uh, commemorate the Bharat Ratna Sir Mokshagundam Visveswaraya. On his birthday, this uh, award was conferred to him. Navi, so here Navi and DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, conducted the maiden trail of a dropper container Sahayak NG. Sahayak NG. So here DRDO is Defense Research and Development Organization. So what is this a drop container sir? Suppose you are at a place of the coast and there is a ship. And if ship needs something, it should, either it has to come to the coast or some boat has to go and carry all the way, some 2000 or 3000 kilometers. It is a, it takes lot of time and uh, it also consumes lot of fuel. So this Sahai MG is a kind of thing where you will go through air and you will drop the necessity food spares or spares to the uh, engines or that kind of things are dropped, air dropped. This is what done with this Sahai MG. This is a casing. This is a casing. This is a container casing where you can fill up to 50 kg. And you can drop it at accurately at the position where you want with the GPS. So this Sahai NG is equipped with a GPS, and it can be dropped. For, uh, it can be deployed for more than 2,000 kilometers away from the coast. That that it can do. So this has been maiden trail has been connected at the Goa uh, uh, at the Goa coast with the help of Indian Navy and also with this aircraft this Sahai Kenji has been dropped as a trail run so this carries a 50 kg and uh, the, this is an advanced version of Sahai MK first and this is developed with the help of DRDO and NSTL National Naval Science Technological Laboratory which is in Visakhapatnam in Andhra Pradesh and this capsule it looks like a capsule this capsule is airtight so if uh, this should be dropped within the uh, Near the near nearby the ship, and so, so nearby the ship in the water. So the the things or the space should not be affected with the water. So this is an watertight airtight capsule, 
in that uh, through that capsule we will deliver whatever we want and next india's first pollinator park opens in uttarakhand these pollinators are very much important to the survival of the mankind because what these pollinators do is they take uh, the pollen from one plant to other plant to one tree to other tree this is what these pollinators do so this pollinator park has been opened in uttarakhand in the the uttarakhand capital is dehradun and chief minister is trivendra singh rawat governor is baby rani maurya and these are it this has uh, so many kinds of pollinators here you can see all those pollinators pollinator is nothing but it's almost uh, the best pollinator is example of best pollinator is a butterfly and this is going to open in haldwani haldwani is not the capital of uttarakhand but in it is a big city in that city it is going to be open and pandit satish vyas he has been conferred with tanzen samman at world music festival uh, tanzen samman uh, this uh, this festival has been connected in madhya pradesh gwalior and following strict covid guidelines this uh, pandit satish vyas he has been awarded with tanzen samman tanzen is uh, one of the uh, one of the nine gems of akbar court the india's first test bed tihan has been launched at iit hyderabad tihan is nothing but technology innovation hub for autonomous navigation for uavs and for rovs remotely operated vehicles or uavs unmanned aerial vehicles the drones let's say simple a drone see this test bed what it does is it uh, it creates a uh, a rain kind of thing it creates a undulous surface it creates windy surfaces so this test bed what it does is it tests in various atmospheric conditions various uh, uh, various uh, weather conditions so this test bed tests drones so anybody uh, either you if uh, this can be used by academia research labs or, or even industries so these industries will certify drones using this test beds suppose we, how the drone works in the rain how this drone works with this much amount of uh, air wind velocity how this drone works with uh, uh, when there is a earthquake at this temperatures like that this is going to be the first test bed who who has done uh, who has launched this ramesh pokhrial uh, who is a minister of education union minister of education he has opened it in iit hyderabad campus next veteran broadcaster indra joseph venior passes away she is an all india radio uh, or an english news announcer of travancore radio and she was uh, recently passed away so if you like my video please hit the like button please share the video as much as you can thank you for watching this video.